I, I'd been struggling to sleep for ages, but I couldn't sleep. And I, I actually got my camera out and <laughs> I was filming. I couldn't speak because Ben, who was sharing the tent with me, had gone to sleep. But I remember lying there and there were so many things running through my head. I was thinking, we now need to get up straight away and just get a move on because we still... Like, this is the thing. Where, where we saw, where we thought the peak was, we still had to get there turn left and then go to the top of Snowdon and then come all that way back. And I was just like, we're going to be like an hour behind. I had to get up because we were behind schedule. Um, we needed to get moving. We were due to be moving at six, but um, we tried getting an hour ahead because we were still at least a half hour walk from where we were supposed to be the following morning, um, evening. Getting up in the morning, well, uh, first alarm, four o'clock. Words can't describe how angry I was. It's four o'clock, I mean, I haven't been up that early since I, I had to go to Poland with the school, what I mean. I was just pissed off. <laughs> I meet mean, in the morning. Ooh. <laughs> not not great. What was your nickname? Grumpy Graham. I am a grumpy Graham in the morning. Always have been, always will be. I am not a morning person. And when someone who weighs about two stone less than me tries to get me up at four in the morning, there is gonna be hell to pay. Behind the morning, I struggled again. I struggled get out of my foam mattress for the first 10 minutes. But once I was up, it was up. It was a nice fresh morning, it wasn't raining, so I didn't put a diner on my day. Howdy, partner. Morning, camper. This is our cab. <laughs> it's now morning and we just finished packing up the kit and we're just gonna push on and get to the top. It's now we're kind of behind like what time we wanted to be moving. And uh, I think everyone's a bit tired. But yeah, let's go. Let's go. Instead you get a clean mountain. We're we going this way because I think it's easy to go there, the path is there. Yeah, we're going back down again. I'd rather just climb up, what else keep going up and down? Got of Everyone listen to Sky Master Mix. Mix lead the way. So yeah, the fair round. Like we were an hour behind. Was playing on everyone's mind. Um, everyone was thinking, "Are we gonna make it? Are we gonna? Are we gonna do it?" I was thinking, "I'm an agony." Literally, my hips climbing those stone steps that are ridiculously high. I think everyone was so feeling it a little like bit, but obviously me being less with my, with my hips, me being less physical and, you know, I was feeling it the most. And I knew I would feel it the most. Bad boy. Trying to find the path and it was still really misty, but um, obviously visibility was slightly better. It wasn't dark, but it was, a f fewer the clouds were coming at that point, I think. So it was still quite, quite dodgy but um yeah it's funny how fast the weather can change out there so um it cleared fairly quick and we had a massive sort of zigzag all the way to the top of snowdon i'm not gonna lie i do feel a little bit guilty for us being behind because at the start it was only you know a shoelace um and it was genuinely the shoelace it wasn't you know I wasn't feeling anything, any pain at all or anything then, like at the start really. Um, but I do feel come to the end of the the climb to Snowden and the uh, the last little climb in the daytime, in the morning, um, I feel I stopped so many times, I was just putting everyone behind, but I just, I just couldn't help it, you know? I mean, everyone was so supportive, everyone was, pushing me up that mountain they were they were getting me up there I, 
if it weren't for them, I would have just turned back easy, straight away. If it wasn't for Joe, if it wasn't for Ben, it wasn't for Mitch, it wasn't for Jay, egging me on, I wouldn't have done it. No, no doubt about it. So, we're nearly, finally, at the top of Snowdon. Uh, Casey's really struggling. He's, he's, <laughs> he's lagging behind. And he's always said that he doesn't think he'll keep going. But it's cool. We're nearly at the top. Everyone's just down there helping Casey. It's hard. It's hard. I'm out of breath. But it's cool. Because once we see the support crew next, which probably won't be for ages because we're properly behind time. But when we see them, we can dump our bags off and have lighter bags and try and finish the rest. But right now it looks like we may be stopping at the 8th and not continuing just because we're taking too long. What's going on? No way, no way. You right, Casey, mate? Hey. No. But you're right, we can't keep... No, we can't keep stopping. He's getting fucking desperate, isn't he? Ah, shit. The guy what are you doing, Mitch? Yeah, good. <laughs> Just <laughs> shoulders from the straps. I ain't fucking coping after the first stop, man. Come on. No stopping. Keep going. I don't care. I wanted those boys to complete it. I wanted everyone else to complete it. If if I couldn't complete it, I wanted those to complete it. You know, um, and that was playing on my mind. I'm thinking I'm holding everyone back. I need to make sure I be reasonable. And if I would have carried on, and if they would have carried on, they definitely would have made it if I was there. Not not at all. Ah, oh, look at that. That goes out to Ireland past that seat, doesn't it? Uh, don't know. And I just went, wow. And I just looked across this amazing view. And I just felt like I was on top of the world. Have you seen that vulture there waiting for us to die off? Yeah. Shit. No way. That's meant. The wind is atrocious, but the views are worth it. <coughs> we still got to go all the way up there though. And Casey was the last up and I said, look Case, just look at where you are. And we stood there and we all looked round. <laughs> and we turned and we looked and you could see, you could see the peak of Snowdon. I just love it how we're above clouds. It feels so cool. He's on his way. I can just see him. <laughs> okay, slash stretch. Oh, oh wow, this path here looks good. You could actually get a train all the way out to the summit. Fuck. Oh. Tune bastard. Okay, see you, mate. Fair shout, buddy. Oh, you've got to think, you've got to scramble across that. You all right? And then that's got to... Fuck. I think I knew we were running out of time. And if we missed out at Snowdon, we could continue on with the peaks. And I did... I made the suggestion that we didn't go at Snowdon and we just went over and got back to the others and went on to do the other peaks. And that we all come back another day and do Snowden. We do it part of the free peak challenge or something like that. And the others just agreed with it. They said, yeah, let's just, we like, we don't need to go up Snowden. We need to do the other, we want to do the other peaks. And we missed it. You are right, mate. I think we got a little bit unlucky there. Yeah. And, um, so obviously it was just that one bit. You couldn't see the path. So we had to start when it was dark. Yeah. And we didn't really want to. If we had known just to climb up that little bit and carry on going, we might have got here last night, in which case we would have done that this morning. I just think, for the sake of Casey, I'd rather get him down and come back another day and do Snowden.
It's just yeah. so far, it's still a long yeah, way. Yeah, still like, that's still like still And we still got a stupidly long back. day with sure, us. Yeah. And you just got to accept that we've got to stay in the middle. Yeah, yeah. it's isn't I'm up for that. Yeah, it's just I'm up no, I'm not leaving them at the back on these routes. No, that's fair enough. If it's right, fine, it. let's go now. Let's just go. We're not going to do it. We can't do it. We've run out of time. And Casey's hips are playing up too much. And, you know, <laughs> some people are like, I want to be able to finish the 15 peaks and the, I felt the main reason we didn't climb Snowden initially and we did reach that decision was because of me and I felt so so guilty it played on my mind all day all day it played on my mind I'm thinking we're not officially going to complete the 15 peaks because I've held everyone behind what's happened mate is last night there was a little bit of the path that we couldn't really see you had to go over a bit and it got to a point where we thought we was off the path, so it'd be safer to sort of stay where we were. And in doing that, we sort of wasted a lot of time coming all the way up it to this point where we should have been last night. So now we can't really do snow done that last little bit because it'll waste too much time. Casey's so we suffering. just got to carry on. We'd only be going up it to come straight back down the same way we came anyway. So where are we going, mate? Right, this one's um, straight up over. Um, Garnet you gain some hard. Garnet you gain. Um It's straightforward this one. It's Crib Gotch you got here from the north side. So we should be able to go over that, alright? Ready case? Let's do it.